In this video, we're going to show how to use the binomial distribution as an approximation to the hypergeometric distribution. Essentially, what that means is asymptotically, the hypergeometric distribution goes to the binomial distribution, assuming that it, you know, goes in a in a uh, controlled way. So let's let x be hypergeometric, which is equivalent to saying an urn having n red balls, n black balls, and we take a sample of size r, and then we look at the number of red balls, or the number of uh, black balls, you know, in the sample. Here we're going to assume as n and m go to infinity that this ratio converges to some p. And we want to show that this uh, hypergeometric limits to a binomial distribution and that's x for 0 to r. Okay, so the proof is this. So let's look at you know this right here and expand all these uh, combinations into their appropriate formulas you know this is m choose x which is this n choose r minus x etc so now when we look at this this piece is a is a fraction so you invert and then multiply so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this r this x and this r minus x and we're going to bring it out front okay and the reason that we do that, that's the first piece in the formula right here. That's this combination. Then, um, you know, we just get this left over, and then this, which is here. And then when that's inverted and multiplied, we get this. Now, I left them over here because whenever you're doing factorials, you know, this piece cat cancels with the bottom half of that, and the same here. And then this will cancel with the bottom piece of this. And so we're going to do that in this step so now we and then we expand okay so the m times m minus 1 all the way to this and then this is the piece that we canceled out and then it's n times n minus 1 times this um, ignore that that's page 2 of 2 and then the denominator is this well if you look at how many terms we have um, in the bottom we have r terms here we have um, x terms, and then here we have r minus x terms. So it totals to r terms and r terms. So then what we do is we divide each term by m plus n. So we divide it here, then divide it here, divide it here, divide it here. So really we're multiplying by 1, but we're dividing because it's going to help us in the limit. Um, so the numerator and denominator have, both have r factors. We're all going to divide by m plus 1, and that's what this step is. Each one of these terms is divided by m plus n. Now we're going to break them up even further. This piece, we're going to make it m over m plus n minus 1 over m plus n. And then we're going to do that over each factor here. And then in the denominator, we're going to put the m plus m over m plus n minus 1 over m plus plus n. And that's what this next step does. So that just stays the same. Here we break it into two. This one we break it into two. Now the minus has to distribute there. You know, be careful with that. And we do that for the n's and the m's. Now the reason that we do that is as m and n go to infinity, this goes to zero, which limit which is means it's this. And the, lim the limit of this we said was p and p and here this goes to zero, the limit of that is p, and the limit of this is one minus p. And then, then as you go down, this piece here goes to zero because the denominator denominate dominates and it goes to one minus p. And the denominator here, that's one, this is zero, but that's one, so this term goes to one, uh, this goes to zero, that goes to one. So each one of these terms go to you know limit to one so they, they just go away and then we're left with you know r choose x and there's x p's up here and then there's r minus x p minus ones and the well and that's what we wanted to show you know an x goes from zero to r and so we're finished so how do you use the binomial to estimate a hypergeometric well here's a quick example if we let the n and m be 150 and r be 40, 
X is a hypergeometric with 150, 150, and 40. The probability that we're less than or equal to 15 is 0 0.063. Now, if we use its, its limiting distribution of binomial of 40 and 150 over 300, then the probability that X is less than 15 is 0 0.077. So they're pretty close. And this becomes exact as M and N go to infinity. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. That's all I have. If you did, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.